Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Lisa Kidd and I am the owner of Glam Teak Studio. It is an online boutique. We also have a little brick and mortar location, a little teak here. Okay, and I uh, practice in hoodoo, conjure, root work, that sorts of things, all types of energy healing. I am a Reiki master, an intuitive tarot reader. So today I figured we would sit here and have a little talk. I am gonna post some videos today. Um, dealing with, um, I'm actually doing a couple of videos for readings that you guys can look for. Also, uh, today, my collective message that I got, I went live earlier, and the collective message I got today was really dealing a lot with um, business, love, relationships, things like that. So, and confidence, confidence, we're lacking confidence. So I decided to go ahead and do this YouTube. So I'm gonna do a pick a card reading later that talks um, mainly about confidence. And if you're lacking confidence, what you can do to build it. We're also going to do one um, kind of like a business plan one or like manifesting, like how you can get to where you need to be while manifesting your business or life or things like that, you know, to keep your confidence up with that. So we're going to do a couple of pick a pull readings today. I'm not sure if I'll do it on this video or another. Okay. But this video in particular, we are going to talk today about spiritual attacks. I feel like a lot of people have been under like spiritual attacks and what spiritual attacks may mean to you. I'm going to tell you what it means to me by my definition. I'm a very layman's term type of girl. So um, yeah, I'm going to speak matter of factly and pretty plainly about spiritual attacks. Okay. So we're going to kind of talk about spiritual attacks, what they are, maybe the difference between hexes, curses, and jinxes and things of that nature. And we're going to sit here and we're going to chat while I, um, continue to fill my, um, I'm packaging. This is why I actually made the video. <coughs> I've been selling a lot of this little cleanse here in my boutique. It's indigo water, right? So it's to help bring peace and tranquility, remove evil eye, negative entities and things like that of that nature. It's made with blue anneal. I have another video on it. Uh, made with blue anneal, um, some camphor, and I put special blends of oils in mine. So I'm actually going to be packaging up some um, kits for some customers for um, spiritual attacks. Okay, so that's kind of what made me duh, make this video today. So I'm missing one ingredient. I got to go grab my holy water really quick, you guys. Excuse me. I have some right there. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Let's talk spiritual attacks. What are spiritual attacks, right? Spiritual attacks to me can be anything from like, like I said, above mentioned, like hexes, jinxes, curses, um, things like that, that I need to put my camera in front of me next time. Anyways, things like that, that have people like, um, that people might go through, right? So it can be, yeah, I'm wearing a little clothes today, y'all. Let me, <laughs> I was trying to, I'm in the house and I'm comfortable. Anyway, so anyways, <laughs> it's my channel. <laughs> no, but spiritual attack. So a spiritual attack could be anything like, um, like I said, a lower entity. It could be low entities. It could be um, you plan and the wrong shit and don't know what you're doing and you didn't open the portal and let some shit in. You know, so low vibe shit. To me, spiritual attacks are pretty much all, you know, like I said, low vibe and things like that of that nature, right? So they can come in many forms. I think most of our spiritual attacks, um, from what I've found, really come from fear, okay? They come from us not being grounded, not being rooted in certain things. Now, I'm not talking about like when we get into like demonology and stuff like that. But even then, I feel like certain spirits really can't touch you if you're to a point where your protection and things like that are just so on point. It makes it a lot harder. Let me say that. When your spiritual practices and the things that you do, and I won't even say just spiritual practices, but just energy-based practices when, if you're not like an actual spiritual person, if you're someone though that makes sure that your roots and your um, your uh, earth star, like, and that you're always a grounded person, make sure that you're practicing like your white light protection and things like that of that nature. Um, it makes it harder for the spiritual attacks to come through. If you're someone that's balanced and your state of being and your confidence and your heart, 
and your sacral and your solar plexus, it's um, it's harder for those types of things to come through. Okay, so I feel like a lot of times spiritual attacks go hand in hand with our sacral, solar, and this is just spirit talking right now, you guys. Go lots and hand in hand with our solar, um, our sacral, and our um, our crown, okay, our thoughts and what we let into our spirit and into our mind and into our body. That's how a lot of spiritual attacks come from what we ingest, right? Uh, eating low vibe foods, listening to low vibe music, um, being around low vibe people. This is my protection oil. So being around low vibe people, all of those things can bring on um, a spiritual attack. Okay? Um, quite simply, all of those things can bring on a spiritual attack. I act like I can't do two things at once. I don't know if this video was such a good idea. <laughs> but it's like when I start doing something else, it makes it harder to channel. Anyways, all of those things can bring on a spiritual attack. So the thing is, okay... Oh, other ways a spiritual attack can be brought on. It's not like caused by you, right? So like I said, hexes, jinxes, and curses. Let's talk the difference between those, right? So hexes, hexes can pretty much be, or I, I'm going to say jinx. A jinx is pretty much like someone giving you the evil eye. Okay. Um, yeah, someone sending negative energy your way. A hater. You feel me normally like, oh, what the... What she thinks she doing over there, you know? I hope she fails that type of energy, okay? That can bring on a spiritual attack. And that's, like I said, those are sometimes they're given with, by somebody that doesn't even mean to. So that's why you have to kind of really be uh, captain of your own ship. You feel me? You got to make sure that you're protected. Fuck kicking it with Sally and Mary because you have known each other for 10, 15 years. If they off right now, don't be around them because they don't throw your ass off too, you know, because while you might be making moves and healing and shit, they might not. And they might be envious of that, okay? So that's one form of like a spiritual attack. A jinx, you know, like um, somebody, like I said, it's a jinx because they don't even mean to do it, okay? Um, uh, another form of a spiritual attack. I wanted to get some of the little good stuff in there. So I had to open up those ones and put it. This stuff smells so good, you guys. I tell my clients to use like their protection oil. And this is anyone. Protection oil, holy oil, things like that. Make sure you put some on the back of your necks, like at your spiritual gateway. Um... I, used to, I always use it on the bottom of my feet, my wrist, the back of my neck. My spiritual your area is a spiritual gateway, right? Those are areas that are weakest and it's easiest for spirit and for attacks to enter, okay? So I know that was a little off, but it had a point. <laughs> but back to our spiritual attacks. Jinxes. I mean, no, no, we did jinxes. Hexes. Hexes can be like a, just a spoken word. Like I just said, like, uh, who that bitch thinks she is? She's not going to make it, you know? Or like in the movie, it's my favorite one to use because I don't really know anybody else. Like, <laughs> well, I'm not going to say me, I don't know anybody else, but people don't normally say this type of shit around people. But in the movie Color Purple, when she says, until you do right by me, everything you even think about is going to fail. That was a fucking smoking uh, hex real quick, okay? She literally wished bad on that person. Or I hate you. I wish you would die. Whoa, shit. Depending on the energy that that's spoken in. Whoa. That could be very bad, you know? And the Spirit just said, I don't know if anybody's out there wishing those types of things on you. Stay away from those types of people. We're going to go ahead and clear the air a little bit. I normally do this before I start talking, but... I mean, I've been doing it all day, so... <laughs> don't worry. We're protected over here. Um, pouring a little holy water as we speak, <laughs> remove any negative energies. Okay. But someone's told you that, right? Those are hexes. Don't play with some type of people that just speak recklessly. Okay. Cause words are power spelling, spell ing. Like this shit was by design people, all this stuff. They just didn't teach all the, the real shit, you know, but everything's by design. Okay, so, yeah, be aware of those types of people. The other types of people 
aren't the ones that are actually fucking cursing you. Whether they're cursing you, conjuring up demons, spirits, like actually putting ritual together, doing work, you know, paying someone to do work, to harm you, you know, to um, make your life go bad. You know, I've had actually a couple of people to put curses on me, <laughs> you know, and so... That's one of the reasons why I'm so big on cleansing. So let's talk about how we can remove some of these things. So curses, curses are normally, um, I normally tell people that if you feel like you've been like cursed, like, and you'll normally know because you've like tried doing the salt baths, you've tried praying, you've tried doing whatever normal meditation ways to get you back into your high spirit and the shit's just not working. And normally your life just goes to shit. Like everything's going wrong, like things like that. Money, if you're a good money getter, money dries up, you know, because normally people attack you in your strong spots or your weak spots, right? So when they always curse me, and I say always is because they do it often, these two girls. Well, they haven't done it in a while because anyways, that's another. But um, they always do beauty and business because they know I'm a money maker, I'm a go-getter, you know, I'm gonna make me some money regardless, right? So they, so I always be knowing like, cause my money will dry up or customers will dry up. Shit will be kind of funny, you know? I feel it like, mm, these bitches are trying to attack. So I'll take the extra precautions, do some cleansing, reverse the curse, transmute it in white light, always send it back to sender, you know, remove this negativity. Um, but that's how you'll normally know when it's a little bit deeper, okay? So, I normally tell people like to work in three, six, nines or thirteens if it's a curse. Okay. So whatever you want to do, you're going to remove. You're going to want to do it for either three, six, nine or 13 days. Okay. In a row, you're going to want to deprive the flesh. And the reason is, is because most curses, like I said, they attack you in your lower level, your fears and things like that. The things that you normally would feed, right? So you'll normally, if you have drug addictions, alcohol addictions, you'll go back to start drinking, smoking. Um, if you became a pretty confident person, normally that old, um, that fear will slip in, right? So you'll kind of know, you'll kind of know. If you're a spiritually in tune person, you'll kind of know. If you're not, I always recommend going to get a reading. Get a reading and that'll let you know. When you get your reading though, when you get your reading, don't take the first one, okay? Do not take the first one. I tell people, spiritual doctors are just like regular doctors. Even my clients, if you don't agree, go see a couple of other people. It's not gonna hurt my feelings, trust me. I want you to, you know, cause they always come back, but <laughs> I want you to. So like go out get you two or three opinions, honest to God. I know it kind of can get costly, but just like if somebody's telling you you got cancer, you're not going to take the first person's word for it, okay? So go and get you a couple of more. And if, you know, the consensus is two out of three, three out of three, you know, that, yeah, you probably got something on you, then go ahead and take the steps to hire someone to help you either cleanse that off or, like I said, to start taking the steps. But normally if someone's cursed you and if you're not, at a higher left number level spiritually. And I'm not even going to say that because every spiritualist even needs a spiritualist, okay? I have priestess and things that I work with. You know, sometimes, yeah, I'll make me my own cleanse. But sometimes, no, I need spirit to talk to someone else that's clear-minded, okay? Because they don't have a hex on them right now, you know? I need someone that's clear-minded and they can sear into my situation and pick the proper herbs and things for me to, to use to cleanse with. So, a lot of times I definitely recommend, especially if it's a curse, go see someone, you know, um, even if it's a strong hex, you might need to have like do a cord cutting or something like that. And you might need someone that's a little bit more proficient or a little bit more um, knowledgeable in things. And some of these people, you don't know what entities or dark spirits they're working with when they curse you, you know. So if your spiritual court or spiritual team ain't as strong, eh, you might need somebody that knows how to battle some deep shit, okay? Because I don't care about all the love and light. I mean, I love the love and light, but trust me, no, sometimes, sometimes it's not going to help you clear of that heavy dark shit, okay? And I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. So, Let's see. Oh, some ways to cleanse, though. So salt baths are always great. Salt baths are my number one go-to, okay, if 
the salt baths aren't working you might need something a little bit stronger and that's like what i'm making right now these kits um with the blue anneal like i said this is made particularly with certain ingredients and herbs to remove the evil eye to remove that negativity once you cleanse you also want to like i said make sure that you're protecting yourself um using like some sort of protection oil or some type of holy oil that you've prayed over or you've had a priest or something pray over and that's been blessed so that you can use that to protect yourself right after you take out your take your spiritual showers and um you can rest right so also other things that's good for removing hexes and curses and things um your waters right so florida water is very good for pulling away negativity i actually like colonia 1800 tobacco water for removing negative entities asking to involve your ancestors into that process okay to help you remove negative energy entities um another good water uh, or cascria eggshell powder or that's you can use that to wash away okay negative entity entities as well you can use that to wash away I forgot to put their little crystal in here <sighs> somebody's calling me Sorry, you guys, somebody's calling me. Okay, but yeah, you can use that to remove like any um, negativity. Cascria powder, okay. Um, onions are really good if you don't have like the money to go out and buy. Most people keep like onions or like um, garlic in their house, you know, so you can actually literally take like the peels off of the onion or garlic and soak it into like a water and boil it down like a little bit like boil the water and then soak it for a few and then use that and pour over yourself in a spiritual shower to remove um the evil eye that's really big in like spanish households and stuff you can also use um i'm actually in a catandera training so <laughs> i'm learning a few techniques okay so you can, but those are some things you can use as a spiritual bath. You can use, um, uh, what's the other, uh, what is the other, you guys, um, Oh, the onion garlic. Okay, you can also use that to smudge with. You don't always have to use sage, right? I know everybody jumps to sage, but you don't always have to use sage. You can use that to smudge with as well. And what you would do is you would take like your little incense disc that you use and like put it in your little pot or whatever. And then just take the um, sprinkles of the skin and put it on top and burn it. It's not a good smell, you guys. So don't think it's going to smell all, you know, fragrancy. It's going to smell like strong peels but the thing is is you're removing something strong okay so that's really good let me see what else can we use and forms of blocking blocking um negative impacts and spiritual attacks and things like that make sure like i mentioned earlier you get your protection and your shielding up use um some form of like white light protection okay uh to make sure that you're definitely keeping yourself blocked, your home protected, your car, your anything around you that you want protected, your family, your money, your children, right? Imagine that being protected in that shield of white light and that golden light um, and those purple violet flames, okay? So um, a psychic protection basically is what that is, okay? So a psychic protection, then you can also use protections around your home on your person like i just put those crystals in the bags right so black tourmaline is really good for like absorbing negative energy um that might be sent your way and that's why i put that small piece in the bags because the people can carry it on their person okay black obsidian is really good for deflecting any negative energy towards you that sent your way i call it hater repellent um i have some spectral light here i think this is pretty much any black this is a reflective crystal also it's gonna bounce that shit like right back to cinder okay selenite satin spar is really good for absorbing negativity that maybe sent your way um let me see what else i have a little bowl of crystals right here if y'all are wondering but um i think that's all that i might have on me right now um desert selenite rose selenite i think that i might have that in here i can show you guys that's really good for like psychic protection especially if you're having bad uh, things at night in your dreams um a lot of psychic attacks and dream attacks have been going on lately 
one way to kind of combat that if you're having dream and psychic attacks is to put like a plate of salt and cut like a lemon in half and pray over that to remove any negativity and to absorb any negativity and protect you throughout the evening and put it at the head of your bed up under your head where you're sleeping okay oh well this is my rose selenite it's got stuff all over it. it's wax from my candles but i know what it is i don't know if you can see that's what it looks like that little piece right here with it that's how it would be without the wax on it but anyways you get the drift this is really good for psychic protection dreams you can a lot of people will put it under their pillow things like that okay near their bed um lavender lavender is really good for psychic protection uh let's see what else lavender um Rosemary. Rosemary is another really good herb. Like I mentioned earlier, the cascaria, cascaria powder, things like that. That's really good. You can use that in your baths. You can use that as on your person. You can use it to lay tricks like in front of your door ways to that if whoever walks over it will, you know, shed any negativity off of them. You can just use it to don't let any negativity enter into my home. You can draw it just the same as you would use like salt. And of course, salt is universal. You can use that in baths around your home, put it in the four corners of your home, things like that, of that nature. When you get deeper into hoodoo and works like that, you can do things like uh, different spells and things like that to protect yourself. Like, I, and I say hoodoo because that's my practice, but you can do like the railroads and um, even like a, a rusty jar for protection. There's all types of shit you can do, okay? So those are just a few basics, um, sigils, Sigils is another really great way um, for psychic protection. So, or not psychic protection, but just protection of like your home. I mean, I guess you can make a sigil for psycho protection also, but because you can make a sigil pretty much for anything you want to make it for. So those are a few ways. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a few different videos. So then they're not so long, right? I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of different videos with readings. I hope you guys sit through. Thank your ancestors. Thank my ancestors of our highest light for coming with us here today and allowing me to deliver this message to you.